Harshit Kapadia now joins us from Ilara uh, Securities to talk more about uh, the stocks to play. Harshit, in your list of stocks which you cover, uh, talk to us about which are your favourites and uh, what kind of incremental business do you expect in them in the next four to five years? So, really the names which I like on the PSU side, Indusan Aeronautics and Bharat Electronics prefer, is a, the preferred place. On the private side, I like Data Patterns, Extra Microwave and Zen Technologies are the stocks that I, I would prefer. Valuations of some, some of these names, Harshad, these, some of them have run up. Which ones uh, are on the lower end of the spectrum still? The market is not caught fan fancy of. So, uh, everybody is above 40 times. Uh, it's just that if you look at the domestic cap board companies, they are at about 50 times. So, there is some room which is left for these stocks and within the bracket, we still have a lot of rooms uh, for Hitosa Aeronautics, Bharat Electronics on the PSU side and Mezgaon Dock. On the private side, it would be Zen, then Estra and then Data Pattern. That's how I would rank in terms of where the valuation gap is higher compared to the other domestic capital companies or the defense as a sector as a whole. Your doc uh, did cross the 1 lakh crore market cap as well. Uh, some other energy defense companies, Swan Energy is locked on a 5% circuit uh, after taking over you know, that uh, the big shipyard. Uh, let's talk about some of the shipyard and the kind of companies, Mazgar Doc, uh, some others as well. How, uh, what's the right way to look at them? Is it the price to earnings or is it uh, the order books or what's the right multiple in your view? So right now, how we are evaluating these companies, we are giving a uh, core price to earnings for what they are bringing on the phone, which is driven by EBITDA. And since their other incomes are also high, given that they get advances on the order book, we are separately valuing that on PE basis. So large part of our earnings are coming from the price to earning multiple. Given that shipbuilding is a very exhaustive work and uh, the timelines are extremely high, it takes around 6 years to up to 10, 11 years to make a ship. So, if considering that as a time frame, uh, there is a different way to uh, look at the shipbuilding companies compared to the other defense name. And they generally go through a curve called as a bell curve of revenue recognition, which is unlikely in any other sector. So, there is a different way to look at shipbuilding stocks. As we speak right now, uh, Harshit, Prime Minister Modi is in Russia, who have been, Russia has been our longest partner in, as far as defense is concerned. Uh, and the view is that now, of course, the partnership stays, the great friendship two countries enjoy, but it's about getting some of the R&D and specializations of those companies or as a country back home and start manufacturing here. Which are those uh, companies which you think could be the beneficiary if we do some kind of a defense tie-up on manufacturing with Russian companies? So, what we are looking in terms of tie-up is largely on the small arms. We are looking to do a tie-up on tanks. Uh, there is also on air defense systems and lastly on the fighter aircraft. So, if I bracket these things, uh, on the small arms, it's largely uh, the uh, unlisted PSU which are there. On the air defense system, it is largely Bharat Dynamics who can get a role. And subsequently, since we will be looking at more indigenization, so electronics and other items may come from either some of the PSUs or it may come from private sector. On fighter aircraft, it could be Hindustan Aeronautics uh, within this frame. But if I pin you down and say which is the most Attractive stock. One name, your favorites. Which one would that be? Hindustan Aeronautics. Well, yeah, that's correct. That stock has darted away just like a Tejas which they are manufacturing uh, for some time now. Pull up the one-year chart and you will see what exactly I am talking about. At whatever price you would have bought this stock would have made money. But let's move on. Harshad, thanks very much for your time this afternoon. If you like this video, then like, share and subscribe to ET Now.